Oh my word. <laughs> you, should have, you should have warned me. <laughs> All right, we are. There, Ready. now it should be yours. Grazie. You're welcome. Thanks over. No, there's no way the beast could be under your control. There. They have no mind of their own. They're, 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 they, just, they just eat and eat and destroy. But yeah. Well, I go on, cast minor illusion to duplicate some of the weird, creepy sounds they were making. I'm just imagining they sound like a predator from Predator. Give me a deception with advantage. Ah. Let's see. Also a reminder, I have illusion stuff too. Phew. All right then. He uh, recoils from it and looks back at the party. What do you want? Uh, all I want is information. And failure to comply. The icicle inches closer to his head. Let's just say that's going to inch closer to your head every minute you do not comply. What, what do you want to know? Let's stop. Um, I forgot the exact name of the name that was mentioned, but um, what is it? Wait, what? Oh, nice to have the spelling of that. Hence. Oh. Uh, that is Ansev. I'm actually going to take a quick second to put that into the channel, and then I'm going to pin it. Also, I cannot give you guidance while I'm concentrating on silent image. Technically, I still have guidance since they are doing that thing. Oh wait, no. If you're doing that with silent image, yeah, that that'd be gone. Yeah, both require concentration. Okay, yeah. All right, and don't worry, Carbine. I'll just solve for a second. <laughs> um, pensive. <clears throat> well, he he's powerful. He. Prepares and he he consumes. But what? <laughs> Essence. And okay, the moment you start talking at sixty uh, at sixty trap an hour. I am going to inch this even closer to your head. Just warning. Hensev consumes essence. Magic essence, living essence. Hensev consumes it all. Is it a predator? Welcome to 20 questions, state of phone edition. Hensev, his eyes, uh, grow kind of distant and a little slightly crazed is coming. She slams a hoof, switches to blood hunt for a moment. Answer the question! Uh, give me intimidate, please. Uh... Oh no. I'm throwing a hissy fit or something. <laughs> we'll say in your anger, you tripped over the words in Blood Hunt, and a very different message was delivered as he looks at you extremely confused. Wait, wait. And he actually, he sort of starts, he sort of starts chuckling and laughing a little bit. Is that not come out right? If you're going, if, if you're going to speak with that tongue, you're going to have to learn how to say it correctly. 
your uh, your enunciation is terrible. <laughs> uh, she she cusses them out in that language. <laughs> Oh, no, noticing oh. that that didn't seem to go as Sai planned, uh, Bai Guang is going to have Sai Hong just like suddenly appear around the corner to give him advantage on his intimidate check. Uh, you should do what my friend wants. Uh, she's a little unhinged, I'm afraid. Uh, all right. As you're doing that, uh, and you start cussing him out, you start, he's like, what's that? Is the baby having a hissy fit? <laughs> Ow! Oh, uh, uh, right, sorry. Uh, he looks over at the spike next to his head. Um, what was the question again? Answer. Predator. Oh, no. Answer. Answer his. I don't know. You blindly follow what you don't even know about. All you say, all any of you say, is it consumes it, takes your essence, and that's. All you know, that's all you say. You have to know something else. You, there, there is something you have to know. I know. Yes, Danny, you have something to say? Well, the, apparently that uh, lawnmower does, so I'm... Oh, okay, <laughs> fair enough then. Um, I know that there are... Wait, just a second. I'm checking my notes to make sure I don't give wrong information, because I'd be very unfortunate. <laughs> Gentlemen, for reference, our DM just got home. Okay. I know that there are seven other altars. I know that. And I know that the end is coming, and we can either dive headfirst in to embrace it, or we can cower from it and live our lives as cowards shivering in the shadow. Do you prefer to take control of your own fate? Or do you wish to wait for fate to act upon you? Well, here's what I know. The icicle inched even closer. What you're saying right now is inching it even closer to your own end. Yes. Because clearly, you don't care if you die, correct? Either I'm dead now. When Ansiv comes, the she, only difference is the satisfaction I get in, in serving. She grins. There then. And she dismisses both of her weapons. And the, and the brightness in her antler reappears. You will not die. You will remain alive, and you will remain tortured until you give the information. I, uh... Okay, I walk up, take out the braid, crack it behind her. Well, where did you come from? Oh, what? I was uh, that guy didn't give any answers, so I was seeing how you guys did. That is at all. Something about torturing this guy? Yeah. 
Maybe later. Maybe, yeah. Actually, yeah, let's start a bit now. You won't tell us everything. I can tell there's more behind it, and all they all want to do is die. I see. So the number one priority is to not kill them. Corvine's uh, m t binding up the other one. Uh, that's good. Unfortunately, I didn't learn this in time for the friend. She yeah, two is fine. The other. <laughs> two is fine, and you seem to be dealing with this guy pretty well. Well, I have experience. Mm -hmm. Which you will learn soon enough. I hope I don't learn that, actually, but... Not you. Oh. Clear those ears behind this belief you have. Come again? I didn't quite catch that. No, she said clear those ears behind the flute you have. Clear those ears, you said? Yeah, she, um, he didn't hear me correctly, so I put it in character. Oh. <laughs> I, uh, gotcha. I I clear my ears of floof. <clears throat> Your ears are now floof free. Hooray. Well, say you seem to have the spotlight at the moment. What are you doing with it? Uh, these are reindeer. Uh, she is going to. And tell me when I go too far. Actually, wait. What is the borderline? Here Come for again? torture. What's the borderline for torture? Uh, depends. What's your alignment? Uh, my alignment's lawful neutral, so basically, uh, I do what I want to for blah. That's all right. Let's, let's go ahead and go with um, intimidation with advantage. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, your uh, methods don't seem to extract any further information. So unless anyone else does anything, she'll knock him unconscious. Mm, Dandy is considering it. He's uh, just taking the whip, just twirling, twirling it a bit in his hands. I should note. I should note. Uh, uh, I'm conscious on his sleep spell, but sorry. Um, in addition, I mean, he's already taken quite a beat, and this was a toll into itself. He probably won't last more than one more session. In other words, if you torture him one more time, there's like a 50-50 chance he'll die. Oh, okay. I'll, I uh, cast Cure Light Wounds on him. <laughs> well, He's tied up right up now. Uh, yeah, I, I put my hands on him, give, give him that healing energy, and it says, don't worry, we can last a couple more rounds of this. Heal. Hurt. Heal. Hurt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I like that. What do you think? What's Dandy's alignment? Uh, Chaotic Neutral, I think. Or maybe it's true neutral. Bai Guang is lawful good and has very little experience interrogating. Fair yeah. enough. Usually he either like deposits his prisoners with the authorities or they're already dead. <laughs> yeah, seems uh seems fair. This is an in-between that he is not familiar with. Okay. And, uh, Carvine, I assume you finished uh, tying up your captives? Uh, probably. I do have two chains. Very good. Uh, but, uh, Dan, if you want to intimidate him, go ahead and do so. Uh, 
Or if you want to, if you want to interrogate. I'm just letting Saye do her stuff if she wants to do more. Okay. Uh, um. Are you going to pre are you going to continue, Saye? Um, if he was healed, uh, yes. All right. Uh, Corbin, I'll, I'll let her. I'll just uh be the accomplice. <laughs> okay. And Corvine, I I'm guessing you're making your way over there. Maybe. Okie dokie. Intimidation with advantage again. Um, let me figure out what that. Let me figure out what that means. You do get a little bit of information. Uh, you discover that there is which tidbit, which tidbit. You discover that uh, this particular ruin. Or these ruins are all very old, and that this particular ruin has been used once before. Or, I should say, been in use once before. Well, as uh, what their intention is, or is this their intention to... Uh, is, are these ruins intended to be, uh, you know, these used rituals? For the, used for this very purpose? Yeah, for these rituals. Or, or are they just repurposed for by the well, cult? Or if you want to ask him directly, give me an intimidate check. Or I guess yeah. diplomacy, whichever or. Because diplomacy is a thing. Good cop, bad cop. Uh, advantage or no? Mm. Uh, he's, taking, oh, he's, taking pretty, he's taking a pretty big beating, both mentally and physically, from this. Just go ahead and roll normally. Yeah. Fifteen. All right. Was that intimidate or was that? Uh... I think Danny. Intimidate. Intimidate. Oh, sorry. He cut off right when you said that, so I missed it. All right. So, um, he collapses. He collapses from the. He collapses from all. Of, he collapses, but before he does, he mentions that this is what these things were originally built. That they're just using them for what they're always intended to be. All right, all right. And for timing, Corvine, you get over around the around halfway um, to to say second no. interrogation. No, no. Okay then. I don't um, want to come in too early. All right. Oh, yeah. So he passes out from uh, your your interrogation, Dandy. Hmm. I, no, no, no. I would heal him again just to make sure he doesn't die, but but I think that would wake him up again. I mean, it doesn't look like he's gonna die anytime. He's just wow. how beaten and bruised he is. Uh, well, he got cured, so it's a little hard to say. Yeah. I should probably roll that. Uh, what's the what? uh, yeah cure light wounds? What's cure light wounds? The the healing for that in 5e again? Uh, D8 plus your ability modifier, I believe it is. I believe you add another B8 for each spell level. You yeah. That. So 2d8 is the second level spell. And so he healed 9. 9, nine? HP, huh? Uh, at least the first time. Mm. That, if I remember correctly, is almost his full health. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Okay, so it doesn't look like he's been tortured. Uh, well, when you get over, because he got healed and then tore. Um, so yeah, when you get over this, when you get over there, by the time he's passed out, there are, he's pretty rough, and you're not entirely sure those are all that wounds. Although I suppose, Better question: Do you want to roll an insight check to see if if uh, if this has been the same, if this is the case? Well, here's the thing: one of them is dead. Do you really think you need to roll an insight check? Well, I'm asking if he wants Corbine to roll an insight check, aka, do you want to do you want yeah. Corbine to have the chance of being ignorant of realizing what's going on? Uh huh. Six. So. Cool. Okay then. As you make way over, um, you see that one of them is unfortunately dead, and the other one 
Unconscious. Uh. Oh, um... That's too bad. Uh, he tried to fight you, didn't he? No, no. No. We oh. got some questions out of him, but, uh... He, uh, he passed out because uh, we, we pushed a bit of a... Wow. Huh. Anyway, we did learn some things. Oh, also, once he's unconscious, uh, Baigong is going to stop concentrating on the silent image. Makes sense. Sai so is also going to uh, change the ropes so that they are only tied around the only living one. Dead body doesn't need to be tied anymore. <laughs> For a brief second, I thought you were tying... Uh, a brief second, I thought you were just tying the dead bodies, or you were tying, like, two dead bodies to the living guy. I was like, whoa, oh, no, I'm I, a I, During that point, um, it was basically dead weight on the body, so it can run. But... It was initially two living bodies, so they couldn't run away. All right. But anyways, so long story short, the actual selector thing, this guy's tied up uh, to basically this the thing here. Okay. Yeah. It's somewhere around there. Cool. Uh, so, um, I believe, Dandy, you were talking, were you not? Excuse me. Uh, I was, but I think I just stopped talking when you when you did. Fair enough. Well then, what are you guys up to next? Where are you headed? What are you doing? Also, uh, I just noticed the little lightning bolt coming out of the oil spill. <laughs> so, uh, I've been there for a little while. But... Yeah, I know. I just haven't had an opportunity to mention that until now. So, how do we get out of here? And by going we dive deeper. More immediately, what do we do with that thing? Let's see. You uh, have you have do you have Twilight Vision Corvine? I don't know why it's even alive. Yeah. This... Uh, well, what are we going to do with that? I think we should. Find someone who knows about. Wait, wait, you kept this alive. I don't know why they did it either. But why did you keep this alive? I don't like to kill. <sighs> It was a person at some point. They immediately attacked everything. If this gets out of here, then all of rain will be in danger. That's only if we let it out of our sight. And we, you want to babysit this for the rest of your life, then? I want to find someone who can understand what happened to it. I don't know. This is a bit large, the hiding in plain sight. I don't think I could conjure an illusion that could cover this and move around with it. Well, what if we find a tarp or something? That, uh... 
That is not going to work. Don't you get what I'm trying to say? Well, I mean, it worked for her wings. Do we still have... This, this is a much holding? larger thing than Colin's wings. What were you saying, Stars? Do we still have the bag of holding? I assume someone will be it. dead if it goes in there for too long. I just won't have it for too long. <laughs> ten seconds, if I remember correctly. Oh, never mind. Are you sure it's ten seconds? I thought it was ten minutes. We got ten minutes to get out of here. Right. What? Well, what if we just leave the uh, if we leave the bag open, so the air gets in? Yeah, just have it leave its head poking out. Don't <laughs> shake that, <laughs> and then cover that with the cloak. Uh, breathing, cre- breathing creatures inside the bag can survive up to a number of minutes equal to 10 divided by the number of creatures. Minimum one minute. Five. So, uh, 10 minutes. Relevant question. Uh, these two passages, like the one we came out of, uh, do those carry on above the edge of the map? or are those... We only came out of the left one. Yeah, but I mean, do they carry on further or are they dead ends? Well, I mean... Or do we know? Well, you haven't been up this one yet. Yeah, well, uh, but what about the other one? Yeah, the one we came down. Is that a is that a dead end up there, or is that? Well, the roof collapsed, so yes. But we came in from the roof. Well, yeah, it, it collapsed. It collapsed down around you guys and collapsed Dyson behind you. Okay. Well, and until we sort out what we're going to do with it, he says in character. Uh, we could leave it in there and uh, use the iron door from the robe of useful items to keep it trapped until we can retrieve it. Uh, I think that's later. the best option we got. And we can come back with help that we trust. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. Here, help me, help me lift this thing. So, uh, Look, I'm, looking really to see if this, yeah, I'm looking to see if this is a dead end. I think I it is fine. It was. I think Hold on, I'm doing something important. Oh. Something very important. Very important. There we go, good enough. All right. Yes, it dead, it dead ends, and at the end, you see what appears to be a small, uh, what are those things called? Um, it's, it's it's like a bowl that's that's built into the wall. It's only like half a bowl. Anyways, you see that, and it looks you know rather uh, unpleasant looking, and it appears to be stained with some sort. It appears to be darkly stained in the on the inside of it. And above it, you see what appears to be a, a fearsome-looking face with a large mouth and sharp teeth staring ominously down the hallway. Is it like a living one or like a statue? It's it's an, it's engraved onto the wall. It's it's one oh, of these okay. that's like popping out of the wall a little bit. So yeah. But yes, um, it is essentially a dead end. Corvine hey. makes a blood offering. <laughs> And um, the walls don't look like dirt and thin like they were when we got in, right? On the other side. Well, you guys broke through a stone roof. All this oh, looks. Oh wait, that's right. Yes, all this looks very much kind of what you see, you know, stone. Okay. Yes, so this will be suitable. I see. All right, uh, let's let's lift this thing up and get it in. I'm telling you, I am perfectly fine with doing it. Oh, well, I don't know. Corvine has. I'm I'm sure Corvine has a. I don't know. But but that is Corvine. (laughs) Perfect. And I don't know how. You are fitting that in there. <laughs> okay. I think I think it's a pretty good plan. So I'm going to go ahead and say you guys managed to shove it in there. We we squeezed it. 
Well, I mean, it is a spider, so 90% of its the area it covers is just its legs, which could fold up. So, although you are going to have to, you know, actually shove it in there, and it does, it's a, it's a little snug, but it's there. I mean, we weren't going for comfort, so. <laughs> this is true. Yeah, pizza, you got it, you got it. It can only lead to good things. Uh-huh. All right, so I guess you guys are uh, putting the door there? Yes, Sai is going to reach for the patch and take it off. Um, like Not like she's wanting to, but everyone else wants to do it. She's just going along. Yeah, she's just going along with it. And right. she's going to give the patch to Dandy. Because she doesn't want to lift that thing. Okay. Carry it over. Place it down. Set it Set it real good. Does it fit, yeah. fit okay? This will This will do. Oh, hey, we're in a sci-fi now. Well, there's, I typed in door and iron, and nothing came up that it really excited me, so this will have to do. <laughs> yes. uh, fits okay? Yes. It's nice in the frame? Or... Not frame, but like space. You invented a frame and it works. It fits the portal. Patent it. Fix the portal. Good enough. All right. Oh, that's very thin. All right, you guys have shoved. You've shoved the abomination into the into the corridor, and created the door. What next? Uh, let's. What's next, I have to remove that from my patches. That rain is fantastic. Uh, let's uh, let's remember where the secret doors were in the other chamber and see if there's anyone any of the sort here. <laughs> I mean, it's the same. It's the same layout. You know, I'm sure each each uh, you know, each little secret. temple of the sort has its own secret doors. Secret tunnel. Well, like Wong thinks he makes a good point. Corvine, where are you going? Corvine, please. Secret tunnel. Well, if you want, you can go ahead and make an investigation check. Are you doing science? <laughs> no, now I'm doing science. No, you're not until the right way. Yeah, yeah, until the right way, yes. Ah, Baigwang and Sai Hong find nothing. This is true. There you go. Now we're talking. Okay, anyone have a better uh, investigation check than two? Uh, yes. Oh. They're gonna look some more. <laughs> I know you I have find... two and above. Oh, no. Does it have nothing under two? You guys oh. find nothing of interest. Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. I have way higher investigation than two. Okay, over I, here. I give Sai a guidance. Oh my word. I have way higher. That's a lot of science. Uh, <laughs> that is a lot of science, yes. It's, uh, sure. give, give, me, give me that guidance. Holy shit. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can go ahead and do an investigation check pizza if you'd like. That'd be seven plus your intelligence Let's... modifier if you don't have in, if you don't have invest, uh, investigation. So yeah, I'm about that guidance. <laughs> 22. <laughs> well... I'll tell you this, you guys find several interesting stones, but no secret passages. Oh. All right. Oh, wow. It, it, describe the stones in intricate detail. You find one that seems to have a series of granules made into it. It appears this one was hoof made. Some of the others appear to have been made in a slightly more mass process. The other place. Uh, that, like, this one, however, <laughs> okay, made very slowly. And it appears that, that the materials is made of is a mixture of clay, maybe a bit of basalt in there. You think you detect a few other... Oh, hey, check it out. The party's moving on. Oh, <laughs> All oh, right. Well, we have this now. Oh, no. Why is it blue? Oh. Dark vision. Somebody attacked. Yeah, dark vision. I, I'm carrying a lantern. Oh, right. And then... Why do you get a dark a vision thing and I don't? Uh, because the, you didn't do it yourself. As you head down, as you head down the hallway, Hi. you notice that it looks very similar to the one before, including the various inscriptions that were on the wall. Up in the corner, you do indeed see what appears to be a um, unfortunate individual, or the remains thereof, anyways. Okay. Uh, 
uh, look for incriminating uh, noble stuff. At the end of the hallway, what you see appears to be two large iron gate uh, gate gates. Yes, gates. Great. Okay, we don't gates. see that yet. Now we see. <laughs> The, the 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 bars the, the bars like prison bars basically it's all lit or and like, you notice that like, how yeah. lit is how much does your lantern yeah, light this place lit. This and then, I, I think it's i think it's good <laughs> everything that's yellow is lit okay well i have to go in there to see around the corner yeah um I, I, there, I pay respects to the body. I, I is there anything of note I go. on this fellow? It, outside okay. the fact that it appears to be somewhat recent, no, not really. Okay. Oh, and no yes, the gates are indeed open, and as you step oh, inside... Dear. Oh, dear. You get mauled by six... Uh, you can't describe them, but they're bears. <laughs> Hold on, let me let me roll some traps real quick. Yep. Okay, everyone. Yeah, All oh, right, passive perception. Whoa, what, is, what is this? this nope. is too many passive auras. Perception. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay, so as you walk in, um, everyone is blinded by the sheer number. Ah! Uh, not really. You do see what appears to be two corpses that appear to be a few years old. And sitting in the corner, you find a small reindeer who's just sort of Somewhere between like twitching nervously and rocking in what would be the ugly equivalent of the fetal position. They appear to be extraordinarily gaunt. Um, the eyes, I'm not sure if you can see it well in the picture. Uh, their eyes are. That hurts. Oh, no, the blue. A little, a little yeah, crazy. Blue. And. Uh, and as you walk in. The reindeer sort of looks over and smiles. Are you afraid? Just smiles. Mm -hmm. a, a somewhat friendly smile. Kind of like a, oh, hello, kind of smile. You okay? Oh, um, give me one quick second. Give me an initiative check. I was waiting for that. Uh, no, there there will be no initiative <laughs> check here. Uh, da, 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 da. I just need to look at something real quick. He lied. The, the skeletons get up. He also lied that necromancy isn't real. This guy's a necromancer. <laughs> well, I mean, that, that's kind of obvious. Don't you know that DMs always lie? Come on. And he's not a necromancer, huh. he's just an osteomancer. I <laughs> made a boo. Imagine Ooh, that. You can't say that. That's a bad word. Language, I see. <laughs> oh, no. Huh. Well, give me a second. I haven't looked at small detail. We pass by a trap. Everyone roll athletics, and you all die. Oh, uh, everyone make it! Everyone make it to the safe real quick. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, your realms one or just for your one? Oh, uh, just just roll and die. I'm dead. Excellent. That's two corpses down. Ah. <laughs> oh, oh, don't forget Sai Hung. Yeah. No, oh, Sai. And Baekwong leaves with the money. Yes. <laughs> it, yeah, this is oh, fun. It's We're all fun. Yes, Just roll yes. a d20. Roll a death save. <laughs> this is, this is, although admittedly, this is more for giggles. Yes. Yeah, we it's laugh at the death of our show, characters. Yeah. No, no one is actually making a death save. Nothing actually horrible. But, well, not, to answer your question, to Baekwong. <laughs> Amber. You do notice, uh, since your line of vision is from there to over here, oh, what a horrible color I've chosen. Um, now, death rolls are just a straight 
it's a it's a perfect 50 50. so 11 or better you pass the save and you get one tick towards not dying anymore and if you fail it's 10 or less then you're one tick closer to dying yes hopefully that said, you do that you do notice over here on this guy or perhaps gal for that matter what appears to be a cloak wrapped around the body that is in remarkably good condition. In fact, it looks uh, it looks brand spanking new, all things considered. Maybe a little dusty, but... But yes, the reindeer looks up, smiles warmly. Ooh, I believe you said, are you all right? Is that correct? Corvan? Oh, what? Sorry. I believe you asked. I believe you asked the reindeer if they were if they were all right. Yeah. So the answer was yes. This is true, stars. Oh, no, I haven't answered yet. He looks at you. Oh, not really. I've been trapped in this prison for I'm not sure how long. I'm guessing a few years. Been a while. Uh, what's your name, if you don't mind me asking? Espen. Who? Espen Sapwood at your Espen Sapwood at your service. Espen Sapwood. Yes. Sapwood. I knew it. He's an excellent answer. The youngest member of the Sapwood family. He's a the uh, apprentice yes. sacrifice. <laughs> youngest active member. What do you mean active? Ah, uh, I have. But follow us. We'll lead you to the surface. Let me see if my legs still work. I haven't used them in a while. How long have you been here? I don't know. Uh, Corvine's going to help carry him if he has trouble standing. It but appears his legs have aftertreed after pretty badly. He's unable to support his own weight. Okay. What was the last major event you remember? I'll support it for him. Well... I remember hearing a lot of noise down the hall. Uh, let's see, I remember there was... Well, when you say major, I, I mean, there's, there's a lot well, I, I happening here lately. Well, I meant rain overall. Or oh. I'll run for them, but uh, mm. this works too. You mean the last thing he remembers from before he was captured? Captured? Or, I wasn't captured. My family put me she, here. She glares at Coramine. I wasn't captured. My family put me here. This is what I was waiting for. But, uh, what was the last thing I remember from my family put me down here? Ah, uh, hmm. I think... I think there was an important dignitary from the woodlands. Was it the woodlands? The meadow? Uh, I don't, you there, sheep. What, what's your what's the name of your homeland? Meadow. I, I don't think the woodlands sends many ambassadors. Oh, right, yes. Uh, yes, I believe the, uh, uh, the... Was it the king? No, not king. Whatever they call for a leader or their leader. Uh, I'm not what, sure which. Were they a sheep or a unicorn? Sheep. They were definitely sheep. I oh, remember. Yeah. Meadow. Meadow. I, I remember because they came to rain and, and the gray skies took them up as per custom. And and we uh, we, we helped uh, make arrangements for their accommodations. And then my family put me down here. For those of you who are residents of rain, uh, this event occurred about 12 years ago. 
I was not alive then. This is why she was asking, because she would know this. I'm pretty sure almost none of us were alive then. Yes. I was. I I was alive, but... I was alive, and my background puts me in a place where I would know this. Pretty sure Corvine is younger than that. So, everyone but me, everyone but Sai is like, okay. I guess I'm guessing that's sort of your reaction. Your reaction, of course, it's is like, to choose. I'm like, okay, yeah. this is the thing I don't know. I am okay with this. I'm just concerned. Apparently, Bai Guang is in his 50s. What a, long, what a young dude. He looks good for his age. It's true. Thank you. But yeah, so Saya recognized recognizes that was about 12 years How have you survived that long? Do you even understand this has been 12 years since that incident? 12 years? 12. Oh, okay. Huh. I didn't think I'd be done here that long. Okay. Well, I guess I guess you lose time. I guess you lose track of time, and uh, you can't see or hear the sun. How how do you, you how do you like? Do you eat? Do you drink? Like, yeah, I do. What 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 do you get? I will admit, such a thing is possible. My mentor has told me. That such a thing through meditation and extensive training is possible. Well, I eat that. He points at the bones. Except that that's not what I was talking about. But... Oh, okay. It's been a while since they fed me, though. I'm kind of hungry. Uh, I will have to have a time. I, I, uh, I, I whisper over to uh, Corvine, should, should I put her to sleep? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's necessary. Oh, for the moment, Bai Guang offers him uh, his water skin. He looks confused. Hey. Hey. Twelve years, you've been surviving off of, you couldn't have been surviving off of just the... What? Oh, no, no, there are others. They usually, they usually clean up every once in a while. Usually when there's about uh, four or five of them. She gets herself in a defensive stance. How do you get these bodies? He shrugs. They just kind of bring them. They. Uh-huh. What is, what is your name again? Espen. Espen Sapwood. Technically, I'm heir to the Sapwood family line, but I have you know, a whole bunch of siblings before me, so I don't think it's going to happen. What do you ask? So, uh, here, let's go to the surface first. Wait, wait. There's but something I need to know go. first. We are, they are not going yet. We will go. Not yet. She approaches a bit further. By they, I assume you mean those who have been out by the circle, correct? Someone's been outside the circle? Is the circle over there? You didn't. You never noticed over the past twelve years. He's been locked in this room. Well, I mean, we used the circle, yeah. I, I'm just saying. I, I guess that explains all the noise I heard recently. Wait, what have you been using it for? What? Oh, experiments. What? <laughs> I was going to be the next experiment. That was the plan. Well, I well, I had to grow up a little first. I had to make sure I was perfectly fit for it. But eventually, they were going to use me. I, I guess she just... immediately summons her rapier and points it at the neck. You will explain everything. Oh, relax. I'm sorry. Oh. What, did, I, did I say something? Did I offend her? What did I do? He looks around confused. 
Baiguang holds out a hoof to lower down the rapier. Calm, calm down. He's I'm sure he's very confused right now. The rapier's dismissed. Well, the explanation. I mean, I'm sure you could just talk to my father. He'd be able to explain. My father. My father? Hold on. Like I said, we should go to the surface. Well, I'm not really allowed to leave here yet. Your father was not there when we opened the door. Was he having business? One member of the Sapwood family. Are they out on business or something? Let's go, go to the surf. Let's go to the surface. <sighs> Fine. It's been a while. All right. So I sends a message to Coraline. This is not wise. She has a no. He whatever the heck. Is it better chance to escape if she loses sanity? <sighs> and message ends. Noted. What's been noted? So follow me. All right. So you're taking him up. You're taking him up to the surface then. Along with. Oh yeah, because right. I'm dragging. Yeah, we we have uh, they're gonna we're gonna pass by that stuff. So gonna I'm gonna dismiss Sai Hong so I don't freak him out. <laughs> so uh. Can we do anything about that cloak that was chilling there? No, no, it's all respect the dead. Sai has a cool cloak right now. Um, Wait, what, what about a cloak? Wait. Oh, oh, looks like Amber's going for it. There's a cloak. Yep, Amber's over going there. for it. <laughs> over there that looked brand new. It's in fact a little dusty. Yep. Oh, Core find one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, she got away! No, she's getting away! After her! Oh, hey, you have some... I'm no cop, I'm a vigilante, get back here! Ah, required you, dead end! Alright, so you guys head up to the surface uh, then? Okay. Why is it that I can move? Uh, but what are we gonna do about these guys here? You gonna? Oh, uh, I I try I try to group you with, um, with Espen, but it didn't actually work the way I thought. Uh, it would. that that's because I can't move actually move it myself. All oh, right, I guess you'd have to own them. Well, whatever. Yeah. Espen used fentanyl on you. I have to do both. Yeah. All right. I uh, I pick up this guy in chains and put him in my inventory. <laughs> Um, oh yeah, the spider's probably still in chains too. I put him in in my uh, inventory as well. All right, uh, so let's go. Uh, what about this guy? He's I, still tied I up. In the inventory too. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> how much can you carry? I I don't know, but it's probably not that much. Um, I will not allow you to equip the cultist as as inventory items. <laughs> Wait, you, you won't let him equip him as a weapon? I'll pick up one um, and put him on my back. I, I think he was course. joking about his carrying capacity. Now if, you, now, if you actually want to carry one to the surface, I'll let you do that. Oh, yeah. So you, uh, you are taking one of the cultists to the oh, uh, surface? Wait, actually, actually, I need to drop some weight. So uh, uh, what's, her, what's her name? Or what's his name? NPC? Oh, Espen. Espen. I uh, give Aspen a gourd. Aspen looks very confused at the gourd, but takes it in his feeble limbs. And then I uh, pick up the, uh, I pick up the this uh, cultist. All right. 
Unfortunately, I don't have enough to carry this guy on my back or anything. Uh, so, Wong tosses the couple of dead cultists down into the pit. <laughs> oh, hey, don't want to leave a mess. Since there's already dead bodies down there, might as well. All right, anything else you guys are doing before we head up? Um, you know what? I'm going to just uh, tie a bit more rope around that and drag him up. All right, so you guys are taking... I can't put him on my back or anything. Fair enough. So what? you guys are taking the cultists up with you? Uh, apparently, what yeah. What is the formula for carrying capacity? All right, cool. Uh, it's uh, like, basically, don't worry about it unless you're DMK. Uh, it's don't actually worry about ridiculous. It's like... But if you ever needed to check, it's... I think it's like 15 you know, times, 15 times strength. strength score. Yes. Score. Not yeah, uh, I should be f I should be fine with it. The sheet should auto-calculate it. Yeah, it's it's it the whole purpose behind it because you know that, that's what the indicator. The whole point is, it's not really anything to worry about unless you really want to care about encumbrance rules. Okay. Essentially, it's to prevent people from walking around with like set ten plate mails because my, uh, of that. My carrying capacity is two forty, and I'm currently carrying ninety six. Wait, I don't really care. It oh, might be I less pick up the small. cultists. That's fine. You can have the cultists. I'm not going to. Sorry. It might be less if you're a small character, but I don't recall. It's not. I won't let you, I won't let you have both cult, two cultists, but I'll let you have the one cultist. Any case, is there anything else you all want to do before we uh, leave? Nope. All right, let's go ahead and switch back.